I'm in Ghana, I'm trying to make moves, I'm trying to, you know, meet people and right. stuff, you know. So I got Miss Nana here with Hi me. Guys. Say Hi what's everyone. up to Miss Nana. So um, I did a bit I did a live with Miss Nana like yes. a couple of months back when I was in the States. Mm -hmm. So um that was pretty interesting. It was like what we talked about, we talked about a lot about a lot of things about Ghana and yes, stuff like did. that. So that was really um, interesting and um, we talked a little bit about like relationships and things like that too Speaking. so today's video is basically the continuation of my Ghanaian guy dating Ghanaian guys and <laughs> stuff so I thought I had I, mean, I enjoyed having a good conversation with um, Nana so I was like you know what let's do it again let's do it again <laughs> because you guys have been bothering me and asking me questions about like yeah dating here finding guys how it is how's the dating scene in ghana and stuff like that so i'm like why not talk about it because i had a little experience myself last year oh, so and i'm sure miss nana here had her yeah own, her own too as I well <laughs> so i'm like you know what let's talk about it so essentially this video is to talk about finding love in Ghana yeah. I know a lot of single women hit me up and say how is it you know is it safe out here to be you know single okay. and things yeah. like that so what do you think is it have you felt safe since you've been here um safe I'd say yes um you're not a lot of well no I haven't met a lot of like crazy psychotic people so I say safe yeah but like in other things like are you like in, in terms of trust or are you like safety in other ways but if it's like physical safety you should be fine but just in other ways, you just you have to keep your eye on the road. Pretty much a lot in Ghana, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I think uh, in general, I probably I would rate the safety here as a single, you know, woman living here. I would give it an eighty. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much. I I don't think it's bad at all. Um, I I don't know about the crime rate in Ghana, but from my personal experience, I think it's probably low. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So yeah, I don't think it's that, that crazy because I do get a lot of single women hitting me up like, hey, is it okay? How's it, you know, if I live on my own here, would I feel safe? Oh, yeah. I mean, definitely neighborhoods is important. So you should definitely do your research to see where you're living at, for Absolutely. sure. But, um, I mean, overall, being being single and being a woman here in Ghana, yeah, I Yeah, you should fine. be good. Yeah, I think you, yeah. Should, you should be good. You just, I mean, like everywhere else, you can't just, like, leave your doors open. Yeah, and, yeah, you know, yeah for sure. You can't right. be overly friendly with people mm -hmm. or letting strangers into your house yeah. when you don't know, like your backstory and stuff so just yeah. like standard things but apart from that i think you should be yeah. you should be okay well, I'm saying safety wise i think it's pretty decent yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so where do you start when you're talking about finding love and oh Ghana? my god where do you start so before we started this video we're talking about coming to town so you meet people right yes yeah. you need to get out of your house yes <laughs> ghana is a very like communal very community like based like society you know like in America or the UK where people are very individualistic mm -hmm. and stuff. So pretty much anywhere that you go, you would have like hopefully a plethora of people that um, want to talk to you, date you, all kinds of stuff, if you're looking, that means. Even if you're not looking, you probably still will find, find someone <laughs> yeah. come and talk to you, yes. So just if you're, if you're you know, coming to Ghana or you're in Ghana, you just want to get outside. You know, you want to be where, like working, that not just working at home and just being stuck in one place, but come outside talk to people mm -hmm. and then you know somebody might catch your eye or you catch somebody's Let's eye and no i'm sure you yeah. catch a lot of people yeah eyes. oh definitely you will because sure, <laughs> there's a lot of guys in town like my cousins were um here um last week mm -hmm. and one of them was like we went somewhere she's like why is there so many men yeah the men to the woman is crazy where are the girls like we were yeah. literally uh, like we were there and just like oh you see scott 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 you're scott, men scott, scott. everywhere everywhere like everywhere i mean i'm saying that they're all single but most of them you should avoid but <laughs> <laughs> yeah but you they're, they're everywhere like there's no shortage of men or eligible men i have to yes say. there's no shortage of that whatever it is that you're looking for whatever type whatever Whatever it is you're looking, you'll find it. Definitely it. Fine. That's yeah. true. Um, so leading up to someone like coming to talk to you, I think the funniest thing here is the pick up lines. Oh my god. The pick up <laughs> You know what my favorite one is? Oh, you look like I know you from Oh somewhere. my god, I was just about to say that. 
<laughs> you look like I know you from I somewhere. I got that like, last week too, in the same day. I'm like, like please stop it. You, you don't know me so from familiar. anywhere. Like, you, you look so familiar. Me. And I'm like, oh, do I? You like, know what I say? I'm like, oh, I look like a lot of people. I have one of those faces. You're like, hmm. I think I no you no, don't exactly you don't. Yo, that pickup line is, is I don't think Ghanaian men like exactly romantic kind of people I don't think they put a lot hey, of work I don't think they're going to say that to I don't think it's true I don't think I don't think Ghanaian men I don't think they put a lot of effort into like getting to know people and I, I kind of also don't blame them because it's almost like a cultural thing honestly if you really think about how people used to get married back in the day they didn't really get to know them no they don't get to yes Someone in their neighborhood wanted to marry, they have interest, they come, boom, marry. There you go. Way. So where is the father to teach you that this is what you do? Like the it's way how you sweep a woman off of feet. Exactly. Yeah. Like the culture, it's very cultural how mm-hmm. Ghanaian men don't know how to talk to women. Or even how Ghanaian girls like play the whole hide and seek game mm-hmm. and you're supposed to, it's very cultural. Play hard to get and yeah, stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. But then I think I was like, I mean, I've had that conversation with other people and it's like, is that really an excuse because you can learn? You right? can I know learn. it's not your nature. Right. I know that it's not part of your culture and that's not what you see. But I think the generation is changing and people are exposed to a lot now. So if you're if you you see that that maybe that's how it is in the Western world, I don't I don't think it's a bad thing picking up one or two yeah. you know, stuff. I'm not saying completely change your ways or whatever, but yeah. there's nothing wrong. And being romantic. <laughs> like, you learn a whole lot of stuff from movies. I think you could pick something out better than, mm, I think I know I feel you like from people somewhere. here crave it. Because growing up, when yeah. I was going to school here, I see a lot of people who are into, like, Celine Dion and West. Life. Exactly. And they used to read all these love books. Just, and they love the telenovelas that have those crazy Exactly. Love so I'm like, you guys are craving it. You want it. So why, why not, not do, just it? do it? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, why are you holding back? Yeah. Oh, Lord. I mean, I feel like our generation, we need to be a little different as in. And, like the thought process needs to be different I have seen a lot like in the Ghanaian like you know like in our age group they say that a lot of the women are standoffish so mm. it makes it difficult for them to talk to but then again where in the world are the women not standoffish like That's you have true. to make an effort and the effort is what I don't think Ghanaian guys are especially if you're approaching a woman who she knows what she's about and she knows what she wants that's the thing see you know? I mean you can find a girl maybe like she's just probably out there to play and have fun so it's cool she's fine with dating different guys right but if you meet a woman at a certain age and she's like I know I've been through this and I got this and I've worked hard to be here and I know what I want I'm not here to play any games that's when you know you need to put in the work when you do that to in Ghana you're gonna be single for a long time because <laughs> If you do that, you're going to be single for a long time because you have to pay in context of dating in Ghana or just building relationships, be it friendships, business relationships, um, trying to find someone romantic. What you have to pay attention to is you're in a, a place with a different culture, right? Mm-hmm. The culture in Ghana is very sexist, is very patriarchal, as in the men are sort of like the, the on the higher social class than yeah. the women are. So when a woman at our age, we, we now the women we want to like work and we mm-hmm. want career stuff and everybody's trying to do stuff. Like the, unfortunately, whilst we're teaching the women how to do you know stuff, we didn't tell the men that hey, listen, this is a type of girl that's in your generation, so you need to keep up compromise exactly. and accept her for who, who she is. It was it's very difficult. I can imagine. Very I mean, difficult. the little bit I've I've gone through myself. Like so, we're gonna get into like. <laughs> some stories, y'all. Yeah, some stories. Gosh. So, uh, I've met all types of guys here in Ghana, I have to say. Mm. But the ones that crack me up is the one that, when he can tell that you're independent and you're doing your own thing, it's like, kind of feels uncomfortable yeah. a little bit. Yeah. Like I was saying, like, they, they didn't, nobody really gave them a heads up, like, hey, this is how the girls are. This is how they want to be these yeah. days. Women want to be on, you know, independent or whatever. Yeah. But then again, I speak to some guys here and then they tell me like, there's still a herd of girls here that don't want to be independent and still want to be dependent on a man. Of course. Right? And yeah. they're used to the girls like, hey, send me credits. Hey, send, send me, me more. <laughs> send me, like, you know, all of that, right? See. So when I'm not doing that, I don't know if like- You're if it's very a, odd. You're an odd creature. No, and you I will not understand is. that for a long time. I think maybe it took me like, a year just like being in Ghana for me to clock that oh, okay so this is not normal mm-hmm. like you don't go out with a guy and you pay for your own thing yeah. like yeah. I, I don't care like I lived in New York New York is expensive okay I'm not gonna go on a date with a guy and I think that I'm gonna stick him with like a hundred a hundred and fifty dollar bill 
girl, like you have to do something. Like pretend to the pay the tip, tip. At least, exactly. You know? Pretend to do something. But in Ghana, when you do that, you do that. The guy is like, okay, like where, where, where am I fitting in your life? Like, what is it that I'm what do you supposed need me to for? do? Because I, I don't have to. You know, pay for anything because you can pretty much do but, everything. But yourself. why would you not enjoy that? If I was a guy and there was a woman who could take care of herself and do all, I'd be excited. Like I don't have to. All you have to do is give your time and whatever else. I don't need all of that. But in Ghana, there's a dating game, and if you want to be a part of the dating game, you have to be a player. So you have to fit. Choose where you fit in. Are you going to be the lady? who is the traditional, you know, type of woman who, you know, go and wash the guy stuff on Saturday in your house and cook your meals and clean mm -hmm. your floors and at the end of the day you take some money or are you going to be a half and half partner? What it is? What is it that you're going to do? However, if you choose to be a modern woman, you're going to have a tough time. You're going to have a That's really hard, especially tough Especially coming time. from the West and coming here, it's, it's that's... It's yeah. really hard mm. because over you know on the west side they the guys are expecting you to, to put have out your own, yeah do you get something what I'm saying? to have your own and then here it's like the ladies are like expecting the guy to have their own and then come and pick me up and join you know add me to that and you know let's yeah. make a life together yeah and I'm like I can't do that I don't even know sometimes I don't even know how to allow him to just open the door because I'm so used to like rushing and going open the door myself, it's like, yeah. right? So it's like it's if a guy's doing that, it's like, oh my god, like Ooh. you're wow, <laughs> you're a gentleman. <laughs> you know, it's shocking to me because I mean, I'm not, you know, I'm not expecting those things. Yeah, but it that's everywhere, everywhere, everything has a, a cultural context. In Ghana, the context is that still to this day, the men are expected to provide, and the women yeah. are supposed to, you know, do all these so-called womanly duty mm -hmm. so you just have to still you don't have to bend you don't have to change but you have to know that because you are a bit westernized it will be a bit difficult for you to find someone no i thought that it probably it was gonna be easy no, no 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 but by the time i turned around like i was like talking to this guy and this you guy and kiss this like guy. 60 frogs man i'm like <laughs> Oh God! You meet one, you're like, "Ooh, this one is nice," and then they just say something, and I'm like, "Like no! Oh my God, Gabby! Like you know what really irks me? Like you know, I'm not like a crazy, like radical feminist, right? Mm -hmm. But I hate men that don't respect women. Like it just mm -hmm. does something to me when you like when a man and some of them they say it because you're so like it's normal. Yeah, it's normal for them to say that. Like you're not even thinking that you're in 2020 and the lives of women have changed. We went to the same schools. We work at the same jobs. Mm -hmm. We do all these same things together. Why yeah, do you think you still, I'm still beneath you? Like, yeah. does that make any sense yeah. to you? No. So you like a guy and he's good and he's this, and then you say something stupid. And yeah. you're like, you know what? I have a story where, um, okay, so I realized here that um, a lot of the older men, right? Yeah. Are the ones that are well to do. Right. So, um, they are the ones who tend to approach young girls. True. Um, and I met this one guy. Uh, I met him at a bank, and he, the bank, the bank teller was just being rude or something like. That. So he noticed that, and we started talking about that. Right. And then based on that, and he was like, you know, I was like, you from here or whatever. I'm like, oh, I mean, my family's from here. I wasn't born here or whatever. He's yeah. Like, oh, okay. Cool. Um. So like, where do you stay? Like, you stay with your parents? I was like, no, I live, live by myself. myself. Yeah. You know? He was like, you live by yourself. You're a hoe. <laughs> the, you live by yourself. Like the you're, response, like you live by yourself. You're, I'm like, an, you're an automatic. I'm like, I'm like, sir, is that is that a problem? Yes. He was like, you should be in your parents' house waiting for a man to come and marry you. Yeah. I was like, excuse me. Yeah. I should be waiting for who? So I can't go out there and get my own. Oh, some landlords will not even rent the house to you for a single I've lady. Heard oh that. yeah, some of them will not rent your homes to you if you're a single I've lady. I heard that. I couldn't believe a friend told me that. Oh like, yeah, absolutely. If they will ask you, are you? Even they ask the men that. Yeah. Are, are you, you married? married? I yeah. was like, why does my marital status? What does that have to do with me Be renting a place? Again, it goes to so like it puts you in a different social class like. There's this like deception that you are responsible and you're not like a druggie and you don't. I'm responsible. Drink a That's lot. why I have money to rent a place, girl. <laughs> I'm confused. Like, if I wasn't responsible, I don't think I would get the money to go and rent a place. Your property or, at the end of the day, thinking, Gabby. You're, 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 or is he thinking I got the money for some dude and he's the one paying for my? Own I think they would prefer if you got the money for some dude and a dude comes like with you to rent. Yes, that they will rent to you. 
But if you come by yourself, you're that dishing out dough to pay for your own apartment. Shame. That's no. a shame. No. Yeah, it is. That's it is. crazy. But like, you know, picking on that. So we talk about these guys and stuff. Now the date. Is a bug. Oh God. <laughs> That was um, coming for you. <laughs> okay, so you met them. Yeah. Now you're going on dates. Yeah. How was that? First of all, you have to require a date, okay? Because like <laughs> I thought I was the only one who was thinking that. Like, no, no, no. You have to require a date. I feel like the dates now is oh, let me come to your house and let's yeah. chill. Yeah, yeah. You have to require a date. Like you, you need to kind of. I'm not just. I'm just gonna put you all to game. Like you just kind of like control the relationship. A if you want what you want out of it, it might be an unpopular opinion. Some of you may not even agree with me, but if you want what you want and you know what path, so let's just say you want to get married or something like that's where the stage in your life where you are in, and you you're here in Ghana, you're coming to Ghana, and you're looking for your African prince. I know some of you ladies are looking for the African prince. Um, you're gonna have to control the relationship a little bit, as in where are we gonna go? What are we gonna do? This is what I like to do. This is what I feel like, you know. Why? Yeah, because Why? it's not. So a friend of mine, right? Like she, she's a little younger. She just moved to Ghana, like maybe a year before me, and it was close to Valentine's Day. Mm -hmm. And I asked her. I was like, "Girl, what are you doing on Valentine's Day?" She's like, "Oh, I'm just waiting to be surprised." I'm like, "I'm sorry, what?" For who? She's like, "I'm waiting to be surprised." Her boyfriend is that. I'm like, "Girl, you're gonna stay in the house." The entire night, if you do not say what it is that you want for Valentine's Day, if you don't say, oh, let's do this, oh, let's go here, oh, let's do that, you're not going to get what you want. And that's, that's the God's sad, honest truth. I've definitely noticed that. Yeah. I noticed that. Yeah. Even with just my regular male friends. If like they don't hit you up and say, Oh, let's go do this or whatever. It's like you have to be, you be the, the one I'm the one looking out for places like, oh, yeah. there's this new place, let's go check it out. Yeah. Like why are you not thinking about me in that type of way to be like, I think my girl would love to go to a place like this. Let me just sacrifice one day. Here's the her problem, there. Gabby. See, again, <laughs> you just have to like analyze. Like I'm a little bit of like a teacher. So like I look at people in a different, we have to see how people were raised in Ghana, right? A lot of the men have been taught that giving a woman gifts mm -hmm. or get like sh acts of service is something is how you show love to people. Okay. Right. So actually doing things that require quality time mm -hmm. or things that require you doing activities and stuff mm -hmm. is not in the love language that was taught. Mm -hmm. The air says, okay, it's Christmas. Gabby needs a pair of shoes. I'm going to buy Gabby a pair of shoes. She wants ear. I'm going to do that for her. But let's go out or it's not part of, the, not part no. of it because nobody was taught that mm -hmm. and they think that's what you want. So again, you have to ask for what you want. If that's not what you want, you you, you just have to state that. Nanya, man, I hope you are listening. <laughs> we have to change. We have to. We have to do I'm not better. Saying change you, you know, as a person, just as a culture. But you can you can pick up small things, and because the ladies want it. Dating is difficult. In this we country, want to go on this. I know some. I know a lot of the young guys here. You guys are trying to hustle and make it. Yeah. You know, you're trying to get yes. yourself to a certain level. So maybe if you feel like you're not at that position, then maybe you shouldn't be dating. Yeah. You know what I'm saying yeah. because let's let's face the fact. Mm -hmm. You need money. Dating is expensive. You need money. Yeah, it's expensive. Simple as that. You need money. Yeah, even for women as even well. Even if it's not, you. yes, yeah, even it's if it's not a lot, you need money because taking a car, the Uber to your man's house, and him coming to your house it's expensive. is still money. Yeah. What are you guys gonna eat when you're together? It's still it's money. So whether you decide to go outside or you or even inside. decide inside, it's, it's still expensive. money. So mm -hmm. I think that's something that people have to put in their mind first. If I'm going, you know, for this person. I have to know that I'm kind of a little bit okay. Oh, one thing that I also want to say is like, you need to state your intentions and become clear, right? Mm -hmm. Not everybody wants to be in a committed relationship or not everybody wants to get married and stuff. And I feel like the intentions in Ghana is so messed up. Preach, just the like agree. people don't like, you need to be, we're, we're adults here. I hope there's nobody under 18 watching this, but you're an adult. You need to be able to say exactly what you want. Look, what you if you want. were coming here, 
you come into my life because you just looking for somebody to mess around. I am not I will the one. so respect you for you yeah. telling me Be that. Be honest. Because at least it gives me an option and a choice to say, do I want to do this with you or not? And that's my biggest problem that I've had here yes. since I've, I've been yeah. around and talking to guys here. The intention is really, really important because you they will come so hard in the beginning. And then as time goes on, it's like, I've had this experience where the person came to me like after like a month or two when everything i was just going along with the flow everything was yeah, cool yeah, or whatever yeah. and then a the person comes and say hey i think you want something really really serious and i'm not ready for that That's so amazing. um yeah i think we're just gonna have to just be friends i was like <laughs> am i still here in ghana <laughs> wait a minute this is something to me. i'm like wait a minute when did i say i was looking for something that serious or you just Oh, um, your actions show that you look like you want to like settle down like right now. Yeah. I was like, wait a minute, but I, when you were calling me and say, let's hang out, let's go on dates, let's go to this event and let's go with that. What were you, what think? were you thinking? Yeah, what like, or whatever. So I think the intention is really important. State what you want, like right away. Yeah. And then that can, you know, help Just everybody. Be honest, yeah. be honest. Like not, you know, there's a preconceived notion that we all have about each other. The men think that the women are trying to pressure them into marriage, and the women think that men are just trying to have sex with them, or whatever it is. But if we're an adult, it's 2020. Get over it. Like, just be just honest, be honest in what you're looking for. Because sometimes there are girls out there that are looking for just that. Looking Excuse for me. To Hello. just like just hang around with exactly. and you know do something. Whatever with, you're looking for, you and find. And then it. there's girls that are out there too that are looking for something serious. So exactly. I feel like we can save ourselves a lot of trouble and the back and forth and always meeting new people and then getting hurt by just saying oh, what you want yeah. from the beginning yeah you know yeah like if you're looking for something serious and say i want something meaningful so i'm telling you now i want something meaningful. yeah are you down for it no yes if they say no that's i mean what 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 the hell you're like a million other girls all men in ghana like just go crazy but you just have to be honest maybe it's not gabby that you're gonna get but you're gonna get somebody else you know <laughs> You're gonna get somebody else. Just be honest. It's true. Honestly, it's true. it's true. I mean, have you had any like crazy experience with? So on my channel, <laughs> I took the pain on my channel to detail the, the the categories of people that have met in Ghana. Number one, if you're somebody from the diaspora, there's like a general like assumption that somehow you have like a boatload of money okay. that you brought to Ghana and you're ready to spend it all and you know do certain things with it. So I've met guys who specifically date only girls from the diaspora. Like they date or you ask them, who, what, what's your ex? They're like, oh my, one of my exes was Canadian, the other one is Belgian, the other one is American, and then you're like, okay, this guy's not in it because they like you. You're in it because they they got girls for like certain kind of opportunities. Mm. You might say, "Oh, you, how much money do you have?" Like, but your hundred dollars is somebody's salary at the end of the day. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, yeah, people that date like that. So I have met someone like that. I've also met, you know, a couple of other guys like the married men. You're everywhere. Like they don't even tell you you're married, and if they do, they make it like an aside, almost like an inconvenience. Like. It's like it's almost like they were there in the marriage. Like, oh yeah, I had to marry. Yeah, but, you know you what know. I mean. I'm 40. I had to marry. It's not a big deal. <laughs> like, <laughs> there are a lot of married men who have kids. Some of them, your wives are outside Ghana, uh -huh. so they, they, you think like, oh, maybe the marriage is not good. It's not for you to decide. Like, unless you want to be a married a mistress or a boy toy, what? Then I'm not even gonna judge you, but they're out there. So and, and another one too that I would say is the the guys that um they kind of want to give you an opportunity, as mm. in they want you to invest your money with them or they want you guys to build together. Okay. And, okay. And but sometimes like I don't know you that well, sir. Like I just met you like a month or so ago. Why would I want to? Why would I want to do that? And for some people that just can't, I'm, I'm guessing a lot of guys are going a channel. For people that just came into the country, you might not know anybody. You might not have any close family. So you meeting this person, you think, oh, like the person saw me and they like me and they want to help me out. Like, don't ever do that. Do not ever, ever, I'm ever. Steam, man. I know somebody who got ripped off, guy took off with her money, got married to somebody else, and she had to leave. She had to leave. Don't do that. I don't care how in love you are. Like, let that little part of your brain still work. I like, think there was a guy um, yeah. a couple of years out that was doing that to women. Yeah. And, like, I think they eventually found him. He was just going after girls with money. And then he'd be like, oh, hey, um, uh, 
I'm expecting some money. It hasn't arrived yet. Um, you borrow me that four thousand, you know, and I'll give it to you as soon as I get it. Then take the four thousand. It might not seem a lot, now. but it's, it's that's but just. But the guy was season. doing it to several women, oh, and he was making money. Don't do that. Don't ever mix your money with anybody. Don't ever like move like your whole life down for somebody. Like, be careful. But you're not sure. Yeah, be careful. This is why I tell careful. people even moving down to Ghana, like. Take the steps in coming here a couple of times and scoping the area and seeing how these people really want to do it. Because I get yeah. several emails a day of people telling me, I'm moving my whole family here next year. And da, da, da. Oh I'm my like, God. I said, so I'm like, what's your ties here? So, okay, if you don't have no ties, what do you think you can actually really do? Have you been here before? No. Are you coming to start a business? Most of the time, like, I do no. have a don't job. Do that. So, don't no, do that. guys, I know that here's a beautiful place to stay. I'm not yeah. going to lie. Yeah. Guys. Ghana is beautiful. But it's not easy, and that's why I keep saying in all my videos, it's not easy. It's not an easy place where you can just get up and live and you feel like everything's going to be great. Yeah. Don't let these people out here fooling you. You see, all this, you see this beautiful place? Yes, it's beautiful. But not, the average person uh, can't come can't and afford here. here. And nah, come here. Let's, don't do that. let's be real, okay? It's don't beautiful. Do that. But we are hoping that the country will get better, kind of will get better so that things can change. So, you know, the dating scene is, is, is interesting. Right, it's really interesting. What was like the like the most memorable date that you have had? Though? Most memorable dates, um, good or bad? I think it was a. It, I think it was a good one. Okay. Uh huh. Um. It was okay. It was okay. Okay. okay it was okay. Good. Okay. I'm trying to think of how it started. Uh, it was like, oh, where do you want to go? Oh. I was like, um, anywhere's cool for me. Um. And I pick a place. He's like, no, you pick a place. So I pick a place. Then we go. Nice. We chat. We had fun. We were talking. We found out that we both like um, Marvel movies. Oh, nice. He was like, oh, let's go to the movies right now. I was like, oh, okay. Let's go. Very we, went, we went to the movies. Yeah. And um, after the movies, I think we ended up going to the bar or something. So it was like one thing after another. And like, it was fun. Yeah. It was fun. And um, I was, that was unexpected for me. I think that was like my most memorable because yeah. me, I pay attention to the very like small details. I'm not... I'm not um, moved by fancy restaurants and things like that. That's not my go-to. Like, yeah. I like to do stuff that are fun. So I'm the type of person, like, when I'm in the States, it's like, go bowling, go skating. Um, yeah, do like, activity. Do activity. That's yeah. what I like to do. So um, when I saw that he liked that, I was like, oh, this is, you know, let's go somewhere. Yeah. yeah. I'm but, just saying, like, it's not all bad, right? Yeah. You will meet, like, somebody that's, like, you know, that will, like, be on your wavelength and kind of want the same things as you yeah. do. And get, they're out there. You just have to face yourself. Is how I would say it, you know. Yeah. Well, so I mean, I guess we're overall saying that um, finding love here is, is possible. Yeah. But it's not easy. Easy. <laughs> it's not easy, guys. It's not easy. It's It'll take you a while. Just yes. take it easy. Um, I think I, I want to do more of this. I actually want to talk to guys too and see what how they feel. I th I bet that would be interesting. I think that would. Be interesting. <laughs> I would love to hear from um, yeah. guys to see what. Guys, thank you, Ms. Nana, for me, you know, for doing this video. Yes. We hope to do more. Make sure you guys are subscribing. Oh, subscribe to my thumbs channel. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. up. Channel. This video. Share all this video. I'm going to put all the details down for you guys. But um, definitely check out her page and stuff. And she's trying to promote Ghana. Yes. So that's what's important. Um, everyone can come and live here if you follow the right steps. I still right? So yes. Um, all right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Y'all yeah, know the drill already. <laughs> and make sure y'all leave your comments and tell me what more stuff y'all want me to talk about. Stuff like that. So this is just a little taste of what's about to come. Alright. Bye. Bye. Bye.